This week, I'm going to be writing stand-up comedy. Hopefully, good stand-up comedy. I'm going to bring back old bits, and I'm going to be working on some new bits. I'm just going to try everything. Strange thoughts, think I'm lost inside a maze. Now you know the reason why my eyes keep getting glazed. Dominate the common hate upon the like philosophy. So if you ever wanted, I can take you through an out of sea. Full throttle nonstop. This test, let me test. Uh, when I go, I go hiking in the wilderness a lot, bears, because if you run across a bear, a bear will mess you up pretty bad. I don't really speak a lot of languages, and they would put me in a French school, me not speaking any French. I had to fake it the whole time. Like, I was on an article in Vanity Fair I read that said why Selena Gomez is the best person on Instagram, and that's the opinion I'm gonna have, and that's the opinion I'm sticking to it. Out right now, there's someone out there who knows what it's like to be inside my mind. I don't know. These are all hard bits, why don't I have any easy bits? Tony, what? Right. I'm right. Get the fuck out of here. No hecklers. I liked how uh, you were like, uh, I'm just improv thing. I'm making it all up. And then you kept checking your notes over and over again. I don't think you know what improv means. Uh, don't ever call me out when you're on stage again. Tell them to suck your balls. Suck my balls. Yeah. Thank you for that one. Uh, if I was better at comedy, I would have known that myself, but I'm not. Uh. I just finished an open mic, and funny story, uh, I didn't even do the bit I wanted to work on. <laughs> Fuck. I was trying to prove a point on stage, I was trying to blow someone out of the water, which I did, but I had to do older material. And, you know, it was just a petty thing, a petty ego thing, which shows you that if you let your ego get in the way, you will be one day behind in testing out a new bit. Ah, <sighs> so, uh, don't let your ego get in the way. I, I got here, I'm doing a new open mic, it's Monday. I am so stressed, I don't know what's going on, I just... It's so dumb, it doesn't matter at all. Like, who gives a fuck? I do, I guess. I just feel so stressed out. I, I hope everything's okay. I hope it turns out well. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, I, I also gotta remember to do my bits. All right, we're gonna have James come up. He's gonna do some stand-up for you guys. Do you, you want wireless mic? Or do you... Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell by looking at me the way I hold myself or my posture, but only, only like that. Okay, that's my time. I did it. Feel better. I feel better. I'm sweating like crazy, but I feel good. I went up on stage. I did the open mic, and guess what? I uh, fucking I did the bit. I sweated. I didn't get any good reactions. It was, uh, they weren't laughing, but I got enough of a reaction where I think I'm gonna do this mic again. I might be gay. I'm definitely not straight. Um, I got scoliosis. Uh. <laughs> She's made way more relatable. Am I ever going to be as buff as The Rock? No. But am I going to be enjoying cocktails with my friends? Yes. <laughs> End of story. Discussion closed. I just, I don't know, if I'm at a house and someone invites a cocaine dealer over, I don't know, I just go weird. It's just it's weird. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. Uh, and, uh, and I want them to leave, but apparently that, I don't know, this isn't a specific incident, but apparently... This rain really does make me look like I'm melting.
I had a good time, I had fun. I did two new bits that I'll be working on. One was about being at a party, someone invited a cocaine dealer over. And the other one was about The Rock versus Selena Gomez, who has a better Instagram account. These are such dumb ideas, but that's what I talked about on stage. I didn't do, I was too afraid to do the French and Spanish one. But those bits, everyone liked them and said, hey, you should work on them more. So I think that's what it's gonna do. Coming, coming up to the stage is a, a real presence here in South Jersey. He's just everywhere. Please give it up for the very funny James McAlini. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I'm doing my best up here. Um, <laughs> it's true. It's not funny. I, uh, Didn't do any of the material I wanted to. I got nervous and just did my old material. It did really well. It was a great room, but... Uh, I don't think I'm going to test it out tomorrow either because I got uh, two mics. One in the city, which is like a, a new mic that I've never been to in the city. So I want to do tested material there. And then I got a show, which I'm certainly not going to do new material on this show. Our false flag events created by the liberal media. I knew you'd be with me on that one. I don't feel like this week was a big success. I don't feel like I got anything done. I just am struggling. Right now, I don't feel very funny and I don't think I'm writing anything that's particularly funny. Looking back at what was happening, uh, I realized I was being a little bit over dramatic. I didn't feel like I was funny or I didn't feel like I was making progress, but looking back, I definitely was making a lot of progress. I need to understand that I am making progress even if I don't see it at the time. There's two things that I think were important in my development as a comedian that were going on at the time. Uh, number one, that's right when I first started doing music mics, so I got to do 15 minutes. Instead of the normal five, you get to do it at a comedy open mic. So I think that helped me uh, go longer uh, immensely. Like I, my 10 minutes is, is way better because of that. The second thing is there's some bits that I was working on that I still work on. <laughs> like that cocaine dealer bit, I'm still working on that. So I don't think uh, it was all lost. Uh, I just need to look at things a little differently and understand that I'm not gonna be cranking out a large amount of bits. Uh, just in one week. <laughs>